Mogul Motivation, educating and empowering entrepreneurs one week at a time. Presented by True Stories Media. And I am your host, Antoine Twiz Taylor. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Mogul Motivation. And I'm just going to be 100% transparent and honest. I didn't wake up in a good mood today. I'm I'm pretty angry, to be honest with all of you out there listening. I'm pretty angry today, this morning, frustrated because all of the work I've been putting in hasn't gotten me to where I want to be yet. And when I say all of the work, I literally mean all of the work. I've been grinding, started this business in 2011, it's 2020, and I'm still not where I believe I should be. Not saying that I should be sitting on a mountaintop at this moment, but I'm still not even at the next chapter of my life. And it's frustrating. And I'm human. You know, uh, every week I deliver these motivational speeches to all of you and to myself because I need to hear these words myself. I'm human. I'm not going to act like I never get tired. I'm not going to act like I never get frustrated or I never get disenfranchised because I do more than you would think, actually. But I keep going because a part of me truly believes that all of this is worth it. A part of me believes that I have to keep going to get to where I want to be. Otherwise, all of these years, these nine years that I just mentioned would have been in vain. Um, I'm very angry this morning. You know, I'm very confused this morning. I don't understand why so many people, and it's not just me, but so many people who mean well and who have the right heart and who truly just, they don't want the world. They just want to do something great in this world, but they don't get there. A friend of mine just told me not too long ago that he has mental health issues, serious mental health issues. And as a result, he has to shut down his business. And that broke my heart. You know, I pray that he gets well and I believe he will get well and he will come back better than ever. But it sucks that entrepreneurship will devastate someone's mind so strongly that they have to shutter their business and close down. It's frustrating. It's a frustrating reality. All of these things that's going through my head, it's a frustrating reality. And we have to stop cheating. You know, when I say the word cheating, I'm talking about we have to stop cheating ourselves. We have to stop telling ourselves false realities to make ourselves feel better. We have to stop cheating on this day. We have to stop trying to take the easy route on this day. I've cheated many times. I've cheated in my business life. I've cheated in my personal life. I've cheated in my relationship life. I'm not ashamed to admit these things. But on this day, I don't want to cheat anymore. I don't want to continue to cheat myself. I don't want to continue to tell myself false things to make myself feel good. No, I have to tell myself the truth. And the truth is... It's hard right now. It's frustrating right now. It makes no sense why I'm not at the next level right now. But it's worth it. You see, I will be cheating myself. And I will be cheating my business if I told myself that yes, it's frustrating. Yes, it's hard. I need to stop because it's not going to amount to anything. I'm cheating myself out of a prosperous future if I say that. But if I tell myself it's frustrating, it's hard, and it's confusing, but it's worth it, I'm being honest with myself because it is worth it. There have been entrepreneurs before me, it has been entrepreneurs after me, and there's entrepreneurs right now somewhere that I don't know. It's probably you. Your entrepreneurial journey. It's entrepreneurs out there who have had it much worse than me. And true, your battle, your hell is your personal hell. You can't compare your hell or your battle to someone else's battle. But when you put it in perspective, it has been people who has waited longer than nine years to reach success. I'm not undermining my struggle. I'm not undermining your struggle. But the reality is, when you think about these stories and these narratives that others had to go through, you realize that it is worth it. You realize that your hell is worth going through. It's worth getting burned. It's worth having your ego bruised. It's worth being hurt. It's necessary. 
It's part of the process. Stop cheating yourself and selling yourself short. Stop cheating yourself and telling yourself you aren't good enough or you aren't worth it. Stop cheating yourself by lowering your prices just to make a sale. I don't care how desperate you are for money. Continue to have your worth. Continue to keep that value of your business. Charge what you charge. Do what you do. Stop cheating yourself. Stop cheating in business. Stop cheating in your life. Stop cheating on your dreams. I said it before, I said it again on many episodes of Mogul Motivation. The graveyard is where the most ideas, the most dreams, and the most visions are. Because so many of us give up. So many of us go to our grave without living up to our full potential. So stop cheating yourself. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to be frustrated. I didn't want to do this podcast today, but I told myself I have to because my faithful listeners deserve it. And I told myself I'm going to remain consistent no matter what. We just talked about Kobe Bryant's death not too long ago. Kobe Bryant didn't know that that day was going to be his last day. We don't know when our last day is going to come. So that's why every single day... We have to go out there and we have to do it even if we don't feel like it, even if we don't have the energy, even if we're frustrated, we still got to go out there and make it happen. Don't cheat yourself. It's a difference between taking a break and cheating yourself. You take a break because you physically and mentally need to do it. You are exhausted, but you cheat yourself. You allow your emotions to pollute your mind. You're not tired. You're just frustrated. You're not drained. You're just in despair. Don't cheat yourself and say, I'm not going to do it today because depression got the best of me. Anxiety got the best of me. No, you get the best of them. Just how we talked about before with the relentless monsters, you get the best of them and you still make it happen every single day. So that's my message this morning. Let's continue to work. Let's continue to imagine reality. Stop cheating. Stop trying to take the easy route. Entrepreneurship dream chasing is going to be hard. We knew this from the beginning. Don't think of it as time is wasted. Think of it as time that's building your strength, your endurance, your character. That's what it is. And if you keep going at it, you will get there because it's worth it. The pain. The tears, the frustration, all of it is worth it. So if this podcast has benefited you in any way, shape, or form, I ask for two things. Number one, please leave a five-star review. And number two, pass it on to somebody else who may benefit from it as well. Have a great day. I'll talk to you next week.